So I just wanted to say something about the rain cover, the Camraid rain cover for the PXW Z190. Now I originally made this video when I just got back from Tweezledown and I've got to be honest I had struggled in the wind and rain to get the rain cover on. In fact I gave up with it and came home. Uh, that was probably helpful as the event was later cancelled or abandoned but um, once I got home I did try the rain cover on and as you can see I've been successful or partly successful. Um, those zips at the front, what are they all for? Um, I think they're supposed to enable you to fit around the tripod head but um, I've not had a lot of success with that. Um, in this shot you can see the microphone and it's the road microphone is sticking out. Um, when I put the wetsuit back on you'll see I fit it better and um, I think that's what I'm explaining at the moment that that's all exposed as is the the front of the microphone there and most significantly the MI shoe underneath that I'm just pointing to there um, we know the MI shoes are susceptible to wet and so it is a little bit a slight concern that it is so exposed there but um, as I explained you'll probably be videoing with the rain behind you so perhaps you can get away with that a little bit that piece of plastic just above my hand there is for the um, LCD screen but I, I just don't like that I'm waggling it there but it's um, it's just so tight on the LCD screen that I'm reluctant to use that and I think I won't use that in practice probably be relying on the viewfinder anyway as I'm just explaining there you do have to put the eye cup on after you fitted the wetsuit so I think I'm doing a bit of disassembly here um, th this suit is new and so the velcro is very effective um, and you find bits of velcro stick to the wrong bits of velcro I think the point I'm trying to make here is that there is a reference point you've got these bits of blue on it and presumably they're there trying to tell you something um, you get very few instructions with the wetsuit though so it's not clear just what that's for but I think the reference point for me is this loop over the back which goes uh, behind the handle just removing the eye cup there to take the wetsuit off that's that reference point there that blue tab to the piece of black velcro on the other side is um, that's my main point of reference it would be nice if you had sort of two zips at the front and two zips behind or two zippers but I'm not quite sure how you can do that with this Manfrotto um, tripod that is pretty tight already so it doesn't need a lot of loosening off but obviously you do want to make sure that's good and tight on the lens hood piece of velcro has gone back together so making it difficult for me to remove it Thing, that should come forward now. Now the instructions do tell you to take everything off so generally you would um, would fit it without the microphone on but I think you've got to bear in mind you do want to generally put the cover on in a in a hurry um, as a before the rain comes so 
stripping it all down isn't always going to be practical. So I think I'm going to try and put the cover back on now and I think I'm just explaining there, get all the zips fully open, get all, every, as much open as you can. Um, that piece of black Velcro is going to go along the top of the camera. So here we go. I've got to say, I don't, it's hard to say you don't like the cover, but I, I, I've got a Manfrotto cover for the NX80 and I, I just feel that is easier somehow. Um, it might not be quite such rigid material, but it just seems to pop on and off a lot easier than this one. Um, looks like that's taking quite a bit of force there, but I've got it around the lens hood. You want to get that, or I get that central, so that that sits central on the lens on the lens hood. So I'm just adjusting there, making sure that is tight. Because obviously what you don't want is that coming forward. I'm working that underneath the microphone lead. Like that so. The other thing I, I feel with this particular cover, there you can see I'm just looking to get that reference point of the uh, blue to the black tape behind the handle. What I was going to say is that it, it, it tries to give you every, you know, cover every eventuality. So if you want to put your hand through the top, um, as I said earlier, if you want to get access to the LCD screen, um, uh, and what I actually find when I'm working with the wetsuit and the camera is you have to um, you have to compromise a little bit. So I will always use the viewfinder, even though I don't generally use the viewfinder. That that would be my preferred approach if I've got the the rain cover on. I think I'm just explaining there that it gives you this um, access to the handle on the, the top. Um, but what that means is, because it's all in the one wetsuit, then you've got a lot of material that's flapping around. Um, with the Manfrotto version, yes, you can get to the handle on the NX80, but it's a separate piece that Velcro's on. So if you want to work light, you can do, because you can take that piece away. Now, as I said, it's this time the I've got a better covering on the microphone, which is good. Um, now the the lead, the microphone lead will stick out through the Velcro, though. Um, there doesn't seem to be any way around that. Cover over the microphone, that's good. This video, by the way, was shot on the NX80, um, and I'm using the AX100 to record the sound. So, well, this is this sec second soundtrack. I, I, I didn't want to use the original soundtrack because as I say I was in a pretty bad mood after I got back from um, uh, from Tweezle Down. I did use some probably anti-French rhetoric that I shouldn't have done. Um, um, there it is, and uh, as I say, there's a horrible bit of plastic that's supposed to go around the 
LCD screen that I don't use. You can Velcro up around the tripod. You can't actually use those zips. On this second fitting, I didn't bother putting the um, eye cup back on. Oh, maybe I did. No, I didn't think I did. It's just safe, keep stretching it on and off for this example. Yeah, a bit of Velcro there. That, I mean, you probably are going to want to get into there for at least adjusting on the side. Um, I would have have I would have the uh, uh, remote connected onto the tripod handle, so I wouldn't be too worried about getting to manually zoom. But there are some important controls there on the side for the light that you will want to get to. just explaining again there that that is just so difficult to get that um, looks like I'm gonna go and try but you can see look how much it's how much pressure it is putting on the LCD screen just to try and get it into there and I think it would have been better if that bit had just been left off I also find it when you're in a rain situation it is quite difficult seeing through that clear plastic I know it's provided with good intention but um, a few raindrops on there can make it uh, quite difficult to look through so you are best off just um, using the eye cup and the viewfinder that's uh, I'm obviously trying to get it on but no I think I've given up now and thought no nope, I don't like the feel of that Feeling back for my uh, piece of Velcro under there. That's another one of my reference points, that piece of Velcro at the top. I mean, there it is. It's it's protecting the camera, and that's all you can ask of it. Um, I've not actually used it in the wet, um, so I don't know if the camera does come out of it dry. And that's the make, Camera Aid. Um, and there probably are other wetsuits available. This is the one I went for because it was available at the time from Pro AV. I do think it's interesting to show you the struggles that we go through to bring you video. So thank you for watching um, and let's hope that the weather picks up and I don't need to use it. Thank you for watching and see you next time on the Harvey Wet Dog YouTube channel.